Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play with 1.21 and above. In the last episode, we did a lot of stuff because we went caving and um, we have diamonds. Yeah, it was a great trip and we are still smelting a bunch of this stuff. And I need to add more coal, it seems, which I, yeah, yeah, I can just steal it from there. It's fine. Now, as you can probably tell, we are still in iron armor. As you can see, it's actually still in pretty decent condition. Uh, and we also still have iron tools. But with this amount of diamonds that we now have, I think it's time we get into a little bit of enchanting and potentially upgrading our tools. But before we can do that, uh, first, one thing that I want to do today is decorate this house because it's a bit bland at the moment and that's not fun. And second, I want to make an enchantment cave. I don't want the enchantment table to be in this house. I want it to be in some sort of cave area and I think there are some pretty suitable caves up there. Before we go though, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a bunch of torches and see where the sun is at. The sun is... Well, I actually have a clock. It's midday so we should have enough time to scope this out. I want to see where we should actually place this. There are some, a couple of different caves, uh, cave areas over there. And I, I feel like I've seen one before that I'm really interested in. So we're going to take a look at that. Uh, and I have an idea for what I want to do. I want to I want to make some like mossy, cool looking area for the chapter table. This could work if we maybe blocked it off. But it is kind of a loopy loop thing. And it is a little bit bigger and not really what I had in mind. To, go, to be completely honest, um, but I'm pretty sure that there is one elsewhere around here. In fact, right above that one, we have this, and this is where I actually went ahead and got my moss. Okay, um, that's a big... That, yep, that's a, that's a bit further away than I had originally planned. Ooh. Again, we could go with this, but it's not really what I have in mind. Then I would have to cook up a bunch of stone. And also the entrance is maybe a bit bigger than what I expected. Or want. I uh, need to do a lot of terraforming. I mean, I would need to do that up there anyway. You know what? We do need place for bookshelves. Like if we remove these torches, right? If we just go ahead and do a little bit of scaffold there, uh, scaffolding. Uh, what we could actually go ahead and do is maybe make some sort of wall here. Let's say we cut it off at like there. We make it look organic, of course. Uh, we, we fix this. We get rid of all the diorite, all this. Well, we actually do want these, so I'll leave those there. Uh, say we had the enchantment table there, then we would need books on these sides here. Right, and then we... I, I want glowberries. I don't know if I have any. Glowberries will need to get rid of this, uh, maybe make the entrance a little bit smaller and a little bit less open, maybe. Some vines going down, maybe some water running somewhere. Yeah, I think that could actually work and we'll leave this lit up, of course. Okay, okay, I think we can work with that. I think we can work with that. Can I hit this? Yes, I can. <laughs> we will also need a staircase up. And I think I want that made from bamboo, so I should probably go ahead and harvest this bamboo. Because, like, having some stairs leading up with some platforms is gonna look cool. So, bamboo together with more jungle wood, I think. So, let's go ahead and chop all this down. Alright, and that was a lot of bamboo. I'll take it. That was not a bad harvest whatsoever. And it looks like the smelting is done, which is great, because I just used a lot of my eyes for durability. Uh, we now have almost two stacks of iron and almost one stack of gold. That is not bad. And I think what I'm going to do for some of these is... I should probably have a crafting table up here. This is one thing that I really would like Mojang to add. Is a crafting table per wood type. Because this is just constantly oak. I feel like having like... Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Having like a crafting table per like wood type the game has would be kind of cool. All right, so now we can have redstone like this and then lapis like that. Nice. And I'll make sure that this copper is being smelted. Put all this bamboo into bamboo blocks. Okay, let's see what we got. I actually already have 52 stone. I don't know from what. Oh, from when I smelted this. Okay, so I am more prepared than I thought I would be. <laughs> All right, moss blocks. We want the salia. We want moss carpet, of course. Uh, definitely want a salia. Jungle leaves would probably be a very nice touch. 
here and there. We'll grab the bamboo with us, I suppose. Maybe we want some dirt as well. Just a little bit. Maybe we need scaffolding or something like that. Um, maybe it's, a, it's raining. Are you kidding me? It's raining outside. Okay. Yep, that's brilliant. Good thing it's uh, sundown so we can sleep very soon, hopefully. I think that is it. Do I have shears? Yes, I do have shears. I do want to grab those vines if possible. Um, I think that's it. I think that is everything that we're going to be needing for this task. And yeah, question is, can I sleep now? Yeah, definitely want to decorate this house because it's so bland at the moment. Okay, so before we go, we do have all these vines here. Might as well grab a few. Uh, didn't have any glow berries, unfortunately. I feel like I've seen glow berries down in the caves, though. Not gonna lie, I feel like I've seen that. But I guess for now, we'll have to stick with lanterns, chains. We have iron. Hold on. We're not done. I need lanterns and I need chains. ASAP. Crafting table down. Let's go ahead and get a couple of lanterns if possible. Do we have that recipe? We do. Four lanterns. And what about chain? We don't have the recipe for chain. I think it's because that we need you. That's for one chain. Eww, that's expensive. Uh, I'm thinking let's have six. Yeah, six we'll have to do. And I just remembered as well, I do need to go ahead and get some bone meal because we need more moss from that moss cave area on top of it. Yep, I think we're slowly getting there and ready to proceed. And yeah, this this is definitely going to be a, a staircase, a stairs leading up like this, kind of following the terrain, I think, here. Uh, leading all the way up past the chicken, maybe a little bit of a platform here, then moving the stairs over here on this side. Hello. Over on this side. And then leading up into this cave area. Okay. First things first, let's get rid of these ores because they are ugly and we don't want them here for an enchanted cave. Uh, and we might as well gather resources. I mean, we, we do need it. So let's fill up that. And ah, it's annoying I don't have silk touch, but oh well. Gotta go ahead and block this off. I think for this, I will fill it up with dirt to save on the stone because I don't have any more than this so do no not like that for sure go ahead and do this something like that we'll need to get rid of this that doesn't make sense and let's go ahead and place a wall here okay you know what that was not what i wanted to do but i'll roll with it um right place something like this do i have enough is the question uh i mean that looks kind of natural i mean we'll go ahead and add more stuff like moss and everything and once that is in in place i think we'll be pretty good so i'll grab all of this as well because that's not supposed to be right there go ahead and place that in then I need to... I do need more stone. Unless I add... Look at this. Unless I am a little bit creative. And go ahead and add some stone blocks to the ceiling. Like it's supporting the roof. That could work. And I just pop in some random ones in the side. Like it's actually like... Like I said, supporting the roofing of this place. Maybe we just replace the entire roof with it. That might actually look better. Question mark. Let's see. Boom. Get rid of these. I mean, we're getting cobblestone we can smelt anyway, so either way this works. Uh, I think this might actually make it look better. Like, we reinforce the roof. And then we replace some of them with, like, cracked and mossy ones. Oh yeah, I like that, actually, I think. Let's do this one. Just pick out random ones. Mossy one there. Cracked one there. Let's do mossy, racked. I want the feeling that this place is old, you know? That it's old and could potentially collapse, but not going to. Back one there, mossy and mossy. Oh yeah, I like that. What do you think, chicken? Okay. Uh, he was so impressed that he had to leave to contain his excitement. That's what happened there. <laughs> 
Okay, right. How to fix this entrance up? Because I want to get rid of this, first of all. Because we want to re-add this later. So we are in charge of exactly where it is. I mean, it's an entrance and it already feels entrance -y. Is that even a word? I don't know. I don't think it is. I don't know if that's making it worse. I think this will work. I just remember that we have these uh, jungle leaves and if we start incorporating them, like over here, for example, I feel like if we like make something where it's like going down the side or something, kind of like that. And then the same thing over here, I think that will not cover up the dirt, but like make the dirt feel less, uh, ow. Make the dirt feel less, um, I don't know what to call it, something. I'm gonna place one here, lead it down here, and have it go down the side, maybe a little bit here as well. Uh, don't need it to go straight down, but something like that. I think that has helped. And place some vines in here and there. I kind of feel like I would like the entire entrance, maybe to have vines. I'm not sure though. Like be covered in them, like it's hidden. I don't want this place to be fully open like, oh, this is an enchantment cave. I want it to be hidden, <laughs> mysterious, aka why these leaves are here. Um, we can add more leaves inside, I suppose. Leading down, maybe some... Uh, that looks weird. <laughs> maybe not do that. Uh, there. That also looks weird. This is a work in progress, everyone. Work in progress, and the chicken is helping greatly. Uh, yeah, I don't like it hugging the wall. I really don't like it hugging the wall like that. That's better. Oh, if we have two chickens here now, we can start a chicken farm. Huh, I'll get back to that. Uh, anyway, maybe place some there. Could place some here, you know, hiding the entrance a little bit more as well. Maybe one over there as well. Double one. I think I like this. I think I'm getting there. Okay, so now I need to go ahead and get more moss, which should be achievable by going up here into this thing and just go ahead and just dig all of this out like this. Get it all. Then we go ahead and remove you. Place one moss block. It's annoying, it doesn't... What happens if I place it in the wall? Does it convert the wall, I wonder? It does not convert the wall. Okay, so I need to dig out a little bit, otherwise we're just gonna keep going down. Which reminds me, is that going to punch through my potential great uh, wall, uh, ceiling that I've made? Because I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> I want to keep my ceiling. Um, okay, I guess we could do that. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Nice. A lot more. I think this should be not enough. Maybe 20, 30 something. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. And go down a little bit further. There we go. Place a torch so nothing bad spawns. Okay. And the sun is setting. We'll work through the night because that's how efficient we are. Oh, boy. How's this? Yep. Still looks like a death trap. Actually, you know what I just realized? Remove these torches. We do need the... Actually, let's go ahead and place some chains because we do need some lighting now. So let's go ahead and place a lantern there. I don't want this place to be super lit. I want it to be mildly lit. Maybe we place one outside. And then maybe a fence with a lantern outside as well. But I'm liking this light... This liking? <laughs> this lighting so far. But what I just remembered is we could just do this. Oh, that's what I want. This is the look that I want. This is the look that I want. Let's go ahead and continue this. Oh, yeah. Remove some of the grass, though. A little bit too many bushes. Okay. Good. This is what I like to see. I don't want it to be a fully moss, though. I don't want that to be some stone, like this, this is fine. I'm really happy with this, I think. I think we need to add some moss to the walls, though. Kind of like that. Make this place really green and really... 
mysterious, I suppose, as well. We could add random bookshelves too, like different places. Uh, let's go ahead and place some here. Maybe. And then one here connecting to that one. I don't know if I'm adding too much moss to this. That could be the case. And I don't want to do that either. I also don't want it to look super weird. But I think this is all right. There we go. Final ones. Maybe. I don't know about the wards, but I'll go with it for now. I think this is good, you know. Uh, I'm out of moss. <laughs> I'm out of moss. Uh, I think it's fine, though. I think it's actually fine. Like, I don't think this is bad. Could add some cracked and mossy stone bricks in here and there. You know, to add some structure to it. That one there as well. Maybe a moss block there. I like it. I like this. And the plan is then to have the enchantment table, I think, here. Could have it in the corner and then place bookshelves around this. Or have it in that corner. Or we could have it in the center with bookshelves placed around it. I guess we'll place it there for now. I am going to go home. And I'm going to clean up this inventory. We need to make the staircase now. We also need to make the actual enchantment table. But I think I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out, actually. Um, I did kind of want some sort of water flowing. So maybe, maybe we can do this. Add moss to this bit. And then a little bit of water flow i do want to add it so that it's not flowing but that it's it's just a pond and then i think this is really nice maybe we could add another one over here but that really depends on like the um the placement of the enchantment table that's a creeper that's not good placement of the enchantment table and placement of the books you know what i'm just gonna ignore him how far up is he gonna follow me that is the question let's see uh might still be following I think he gave up chase. Good. Very good. And if I'm smart, I do that and then that. Boom. Nice. I like it. All right. Let's go home, get situated, and put down a plan of action for the remainder of this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the morning and the plan is clear. First things first, I only have five books. So that means I need to use one for the chapter table and that leaves one for one bookshelf. And I don't have any other source of leather. I, I have no leather. I have, I have zero, zero leather. Uh, so that means I can go ahead and make one single bookshelf. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, so I need two diamonds for the uh, enchantment table and I need the book. Which means that next I need four obsidian of which I do not have. So this is actually where we're going to be making our very first diamond tool, ladies and gentlemen, because I need a diamond pickaxe. This is an exciting moment. Let's see. So, sticks, place, and that is. Boom. Diamond pickaxe, and I really feel like there should be an advancement to that. I really feel like there should be, but oh well. Uh, old iron pickaxe go in there. I guess we can make an iron frame or something if I actually have more leather, but oh well. Uh, <laughs> I should probably make other tools as well. Uh, I have the diamonds for them. Could make a diamond axe, diamond shovel, diamond sword even. Um, how many diamonds would that be? How many diamonds would that be? So that is three for the axe, one for the shovel, two for the sword. You know what? Let's do it. We have plenty and we're going to get more in the future. So let's go ahead and do just that. Where did I leave my sticks? There they are. Let's go ahead and get an upgrade. We're not going to upgrade the armor though uh, just yet. So let's go ahead and do an axe, shovel, and then finally the sword. Diamond sword, let's go. <laughs> big moment, ladies and gentlemen, a big moment indeed. Look at this, diamond sword, diamond shovel, pickaxe, axe, and at the end of this, hopefully we'll be able to enchant them with small level enchantments. Now, now that we have a diamond pickaxe... What? Where? Hi. 
You little sniper. You're gonna be the first victim of my diamond sword. Haha, <laughs> that felt good. Okay, uh, calm down now. What I need to do is I need to find some sort of lava pit. <laughs> I could have gotten obsidian in the last episode, but I didn't. Um, which means I've got to go in that direction. And that reminds me, there's a village over there. And we're in that direction anyway. If we do arrive to it, if they do have a farmer, I have absolutely nothing to trade. Because I will want... I'll bring my nine emeralds. Because if there's a farmer that has carrots or potatoes, I really, really, really want them. Also, did I plant this sugarcane? I don't think I did. But since it's here anyway, I'm gonna remove you and I'm gonna place a bunch over here so that it can grow. Because once we get leather, we will be needing uh, a lot of paper. And this does make me think, should I in the next episode focus on farming? Like, all out focus on farming because... I need a better food source, so that is a wheat farm. I have plenty of seeds. Uh, wheat would go to cows and sheep. And seeds would go to chickens. I think that is something that I need to do, which means that I, even though I really want to, I can't really uh, gather the leather from these cows <laughs> because I will need them for my farm. There's also chickens. There's also a village over there. There's chickens and there's pigs here so question is do we have sheep i don't know if there's any sheep hmm right but we could definitely get cows and chickens and pigs which is great uh pigs we will need um carrots for that so i'm hoping that this village has some sort of farmers i just realized that sentence didn't that was not correctly spoken <laughs> anyway uh these seeds here what are they just wheat, I think. Yep. I don't think... Maybe beetroots as well. Question is, do we have a farmer villager here? Or are they just not doing that? I don't think I see any, like, composter. Which means there won't be a farming job. Which is not ideal. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's that plan down the drain. And also, I have seen zero lava pits. Does this mean I need to take my boat and go to the other side of the pond? Like, seriously? Maybe I need to. Oh, an armadillo! Hey, friend! I haven't made the brush yet, uh, which is something that I forgot to do, because then I can put armor on my wolves, which is great. So, uh, yeah, I'll have to... Either try to remember that today or next episode. Whoa. This looks cool. Uh, though I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna stay focused. Stay focused. Find a lava pit. Aha! Lava pit has been located. That didn't take too long. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. That's an interesting one. It's split between them. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna do the whole thing. I'm gonna do the whole thing. Because, uh... I don't want it to go in there, though. I don't want to save that. Please? Okay, good. I'm assuming that there's still gotta be lava under this, so let's dig this off first. Or dig this up first. And hope that we can catch it. And that there's no lava underneath it. Okay, we're good. So far, so good. That is our first piece of obsidian. And I'm gonna get 10 pieces, uh, 14, sorry, because this means that I will be able to make the chapter table and later, when we went to go to the nether, I already have the obsidian for it. But I probably will want to make the full portal, so I'll probably get a little bit more as well. So I'll be right back when, uh, oh dear, that was a close up. I'll get right back when uh, this has been completed. And uh, there we go. 18 obsidian should be enough according to my calculations. We know where there is more, uh, which means boom, 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 and 14 remaining to make a full nether portal. And with that, the sun is setting. So let's go ahead and quickly get back home before it's too late. Well, it already is too late, but uh, hopefully we should come back home unscathed. And I, I need to make that brush. I don't remember the recipe. I think it's a covering it, a feather. I think, and something else, a stick, probably, 
or a wooden plank. I'm gonna have to try and make it when I get home. And that is two spiders down. Turns out I could not get home unscathed. I will admit, I am also trying to get a little bit of leather to get a little bit more bookshelves. I have made sure that there's cows so we can breed them. And uh, so hopefully I should be able to make one or two more bookshelves just so we can get a little bit higher in enchantment levels. Ooh, there's a sheep over there. Nice, that probably means we have more than one in that forest. Okay, I think next episode we focus on farming because we need to get established here because so far I my food situation is lo not looking good. <laughs> we need to figure out where and how we're going to farm all our stuff. Uh, and that is also not a very nice welcoming committee. Hey, turtle. Um, hmm, okay. But with the diamond sword in hand, I still get punched. And uh, this is out. This is no match for me whatsoever. Like, no match. Why does the, f the creeper feel faster? I don't like that. Go away. Please don't. Let's get rid of you. Please don't blow up my beach. That'd be nice. Jump, hit, nice. Phew, hard work. We need to place life sources everywhere so we can get this place nice and tidy. And neighboring spider is not ideal. Pl okay, that's an army of zombies. No, okay, nope, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I can put that to that and I will. Hopefully, they won't smash in the door. We're not playing in hard mode, so they shouldn't be able to. Ideally. Whether or not that's the thing, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna find out. I actually need a crafting table a lot of the time here, so I'm gonna place one in the corner. And this is why we gather a lot of sugarcane, because that allows us to quickly do stuff like this. And I need that many? Yes. And yes, that's a secondary bookshelf. Nice. And turns out trading with villagers was not part of the agenda. Part of the plan, not agenda. On the agenda, part of the plan. Anyway, enchanting table. Let's go. Boom. Just like that. We have our first enchantment table. Could you, like, die? There we go. Thank you. And boom. And boom. All right. Wait. Where did that torch come from? Am I... Why is there... I'm not gonna ask questions. Like, why is there a spider on the bamboo? I'm not gonna ask questions. Okay? I'm gonna ignore that skeleton, because I wanna place this and see what we can get, because this is really exciting. I just realized, oh, I love coming in here. This is cool. I love this. All right, place this here, and I guess we would have something like a bookshelf there. We should see some uh, icons, things flowing. Yep, that is. Boom, just like that. And we can place another one maybe over here. So it's a bit random. We'll place them, as we'll scatter them around here randomly. And look at that. We can have stuff. Very cool. Obviously, this is not very high tier. We need a lot of books, which is, again, why we need a farm. But for now, we can definitely get some stuff like Protection 3 in here. So what I need to do now, before I get to enchanting today, finish finish begin the staircase finish the staircase and move the lapis lazuli up here so i think that is probably next so i actually have a chest here that is brilliant and i'm gonna go ahead and grab all the lapis that we have that means we don't need it in here and then i can go ahead and convert all of this into wood and then convert it all into stairs, because I think the majority of what I'll be needing is actually stairs. Um, I will need a little bit of fencing, so maybe like that. Maybe we'll make a bamboo sign. Maybe I'll need some slabs as well, you know, for stuff, platforming, things like that. The rest could be stairs. Boom. I'm really hoping that that is enough. <laughs> No idea, cause uh, I've just I'm just kind of winging win, win, winging this, but um, I'm thinking placing stairs here. I need a lot of dirt, I think. Or do I not use dirt and use something that looks cooler? Like I have an entire stack of that. Okay, actually, you know what I should make? I think you guys actually told me down below in the comments as well in the last episode. 
I need to make a stone cutter so that when I actually go ahead and use stone, it's a lot of it is actually going to waste. So boom, stone cutter. There we go. Place that. Um, I don't feel like it's safe having it around here, so let's we'll put it in the basement. Uh, because then I can go ahead and get an exact conversion like that. Yeah, I might use stone walls underneath stairs where there's no dirt. Like it's actually getting support. It's those small details. We'll see how it works. We'll see how it looks. Um, okay, so boom, boom. Then... I think maybe... Boom. 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 Boom, boom. Okay. Boom, boom. Ka-ching. Because that'll add, that'll add support. Right? And we'll try and follow the um, the terrain up. Because it's all, already almost a perfect staircase up. So I feel maybe we go another one up. Boom, boom. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Move that. Boom. 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 We do this. I think that's going to look great from the outside, actually. We continue here, and I think once we reach this part, we need a little bit of a platform. Because then I think I want to move the, um, what's it called? I want to move the staircase over to this side. So we're going kind of up here, then we move a little bit over, and then up. So this place needs a little bit of changing. And the staircase starting again right here. So we'll just use slabs for this to save on blocks. Nope, not like that. Just a simple wooden platform. Let's get rid of that. Place that there instead. And then have the staircase go right here. So let's get rid of you. Place a stair here. Stair here. And we may need to get a little bit creative around here. Uh... Actually, let's push it back. Pushing it back so we have a little bit more space to work with. So this, I'll take that back. Place you there. And then place you here. We'll use the stone brick as well on the outside again. Because if we ever come from this side, it's actually going to look cool. Which is what we want. Then on this side, we can just use dirt, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, 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 something like that. Nope, again, this will look best. <laughs> Stick to it. Stick to the plan. Do not that. Do this all the way up. And at this point, I think maybe a bunch of bamboo slabs which I don't have, but like a, a few like here, here, leading up and so then some more, then I think it's there. Like, I don't think it needs much more. We can, of course, keep adding this as some sort of, you know, support. Maybe we do something like this and I need more. Maybe I grab this one. Supporting this entire like structure thing. Right? Maybe we cover this up entirely so it doesn't look so weird. Like that. And then this. I mean, it could have railing. It could have a bunch of other stuff. But I think... I actually think this is fine. And maybe we add this here. Eh. Get... There we go. I think that could work. Let's see it from down, down below. That's actually really simple, but I also feel like at the same time that it is too simple. Like something's actually missing. Maybe some jungle leaves down this path to mix it up. And then some more fences with more lanterns or even torches would work following it up. Um, like on the sides there. Not as a railing, but just to give it something. Okay. Okay. I really shouldn't use a diamond sword for this. In fact, I'm not going to use it. Oh, but it's going to be so slow. But the, yeah, that's painful. That's very painful. 
I'm not gonna do it anymore because that's that's everyone's gonna scream at me in the comments if I do that and I'm screaming at myself because that is painful to use diamonds on that like that okay so let's make a few more slabs let's make some more fences which means we need more sticks uh 10 13 yeah something like that and then let's go ahead and make some more lanterns actually i think i've just got to stick with torches for for going up the the stairs i will however grab i think a couple more stone brick walls like so uh grab the dirt and also grab a stack of jungle leaves uh this is for that okay think we are getting there slowly but steadily actually maybe it has to be stone walls but like the lighting that could be the contrast because i think maybe adding bamboo uh fences that it's going to be too much so maybe we actually remove this as well and replace it with stone bricks i think that might actually be better and then for over here, we could have maybe like one going out, up, torch. Then here as well. We remove you, place that there. Out, up, and then torch. Boom. And then place you. That looks a bit weird. Don't like that. Maybe we... Hmm. 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 Maybe... It, hmm. I don't like the flow of this particular thing. I also don't want this to look weird. That definitely does not work. It needs to go in. Like it needs to be here. In a way. And then it could go here. I think that works. Place that. Not like that, but here. Again. And... Would you stop that? <laughs> and then like that. Leading in like this. I think this works. Maybe with another stone wall here and a torch. And I think adding some more stone walls on this side. Maybe. Like we've done here. Maybe they need to be on that side. Like maybe they need to be on this side over here. Hold on. I will need a lot more stone walls, but I can imagine that it's gonna look better. So if we do this, how is that gonna look from the outside? Hey, that's more structure, I suppose. I think I'm, maybe I'll do both. I think I like that actually, especially if we later on, I don't want to use all the iron on it for right now. Uh, maybe replace it with so, ooh, soul lanterns could work really nicely here. Maybe combined with some of the other lanterns. I think I'm happy with this, you know. I might want to add, again, like I said, some jungle leaves going down the side here. Adding a, a little bit or removing some of the emptiness this has. Um, like going down here. Connected, connected. Going all the way down. Maybe we start going over here, go down and then into the water maybe or something. Yeah, I think adding something like that is going to really make this look even more alive. So let's add this. It goes down, it goes over to the edge, and then it goes down again. Maybe some of it splits down into this bit, maybe, or something like that. Um, yeah, I like that. Nope, I don't like that. It needs to be 3D. Boom. Boom. Yep. I think I like that. Having water going... Ooh. Ooh, wait. <laughs> I keep getting ideas here. Adding water here. Casually. Leading down. I would like it to not, not take that path. But oh well. You know what? It works. It actually doesn't. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Eh. Can I? There we go. I really... I, I just want it to be flat, nice, and smooth. So, going like this again. Let it finish. There we go. 
Like that. Yep. 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 That's it. I like that. A little bit of a waterfall, making this place look even even cooler. I'm happy with this look, ladies and gentlemen. I think that is that for the enchantment area. Just like that. Just like that. That took a while. Uh, <laughs> finally, though, I do want to get rid of some of these bushes. Because they really are in the way. Like, they're kind of blocking, obscuring the view, the path. And speaking of path... I definitely want to go ahead and grab my iron shovel, I think. And I'm going to go ahead and continue this path all the way over to the staircase. So every I want most of my stuff here in this world connected with paths and stuff like that. Because I think it's going to look cool and awesome. And I'm looking very much forward to it. Uh, sticks really shouldn't go in here. Uh, I'll need wood in general. I can have the jungle wood, I suppose. Let's go ahead and do that. I like to have, always have some jungle wood and also some cobblestone on me at all times we do have glowing sacks so i think i'm gonna go ahead and do that so i can make some glow sign stuff don't know where but i'm gonna do it see then can go in here right i think with the shovel we're getting there but i don't know how i'm gonna lead the path over we have a lot of grass in the way too like, I don't want it to be a big path. I want it to stay within, like, this kind of thing. Do we want to go around this and through? I think we do, actually. By the way, let me know down below in the comments if you guys enjoy projects like this live. Like, not live streamed, but, like, live commentating like this. Uh, that I've been doing for this episode and that I did with the house. Or... If it would have been cooler with a time lapse, let me know down below in the comments because I can do both. Like I can, I can do either one. I just want to do what is most entertaining and not annoying to watch, you know. And boom, boom, and right. Need a little bit more staircase to lead this over. Okay. All right, I think this will do the job nicely. Cool. Okay, maybe we add some some of these along. I think maybe just two, like along the path here. Maybe one here. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, and I suppose one on this path too, since we are kind of doing that and we're making one leading down this way. I suppose we can have some more here, waystones or something. And ladies and gentlemen, I have made a decision. I need two name suggestions down in the comments below. Why can't I put the die on? That is... How, how does that work? Why can't I... Oh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> there we go. Uh, ooh. I actually liked it better before. I don't want the white die. Yeah, no, go away. <laughs> Let me try that again, ladies and gentlemen. Put the sign back up. Name here. And uh, do a little bit of that. There we go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to want two name suggestions down below in the comments. One, we need to name this house right here. And uh, that's going to be right up there above the door. And second, we need a name for the enchantment. Oh, jungle sapling. I guess I can go there. For this enchantment cove, cave, area thing. Oh, I love this staircase. Ooh, nice. Uh, do that. And let's go ahead and... I don't know where we should have this. I feel like since this is an entrance, let's have it right here. So, guys, two name suggestions. One for the enchantment grove and one for the house down there that still needs some decoration behind it. Maybe some garden or something. I don't know, but it's ugly from the back. <laughs> But anyways, guys, let me know those down below in the comments if you have any suggestions. Now, finally, I'm going to add a chest here with all the lapis lazuli. Boom, just like that. And I don't know if we can actually leave this in here. We cannot. Okay, that's sad. Uh, I want to enchant my stuff. I think I'm going to start off with my armor because it is iron. It's not very valuable, but let's go ahead and we have made this. And I want to go ahead and use it. So I think I'm going to aim for the low level. This is our first enchanting, by the way. Enchantment, enchanter. We are an, enchan an enchanter indeed. 
I'm gonna go with the low cost chicken. You're ruining the moment. Be quiet. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, I want to go with the low level enchantments. That's going to give me protection, and that doesn't use a whole lot of lapis nor levels, because I want to get level 30 enchantment at some point. Now all of these, ooh, aqua affinity. Protection is good. Protection is good, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. We're shiny now. This is awesome. <laughs> all right, sharpness. I'm not willing to spend the three enchantment levels yet. I think we just go again with the level ones. And there's something nice. I want to talk about this. There's something nice. Because in the olden days of me playing Minecraft, I would use to enchant stuff like this. But as for Minecraft, uh, I wouldn't say changed, but as things has moved on, or I don't know what to call it, um, I feel like it has gotten fairly, like, I, I, I guess I got into the, into the flow of I'm not gonna enchant unless it's like level 30, but there is something nostalgia about using low level enchantments because you just can't afford anything else right off the bat. Um, and I like that. I actually do like that. Uh, this is all unbreaking. What are the chances that we're gonna get unbreaking one efficiency one? Uh, let's see what we can get on the axe. I'm going to go with, ooh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to go with Unbreaking. If we want it to last. Unbreaking 2. Efficiency 1. You know what? I am happy with these choices. Ladies and gentlemen, we have enchanted gear. We are set. We are good to go. In the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go ahead and we are going to... Build up a farm, because we need it. And that could probably go over there, maybe. We have a mine shaft over there. I want everything close to home-ish. We could remove some trees over there, make that a farm area. I'm not sure. I'll have to do some thinking, but we definitely need that, because I need leather for more books. I need food, stuff like that. We'll make a brush in the next episode as well, and armor up our wolves, hopefully. They can maybe start working at the farm as well. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this episode. I think we did a lot and I'm really happy with the result. Again, leave your name suggestions for this enchantment area and the house down below in the comments. I'll pick them in the next episode. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day and good bye.